Today we are going to start with the next section, fifth section. Whereas in the previous section we explained regarding involution law, commutative law, as well as the properties of addition, as well as the properties of multiplication. Today I am going to explain commutative law. What do you mean by commutative law? In commutative law, it states that x plus y equals y plus x. And the second law states that x into y equals y into x. This is nothing but commutative law. The commutative law states that x plus y equals y plus x. If I reverse, then also we will get the same result. That is x into y equals y into x. One by one, we will prove that. Now, to prove this, first I will take the first one. That is x plus y equals y plus x. Then, how to write the circuit diagram? Here I am going to take one is x and one more is y. In between, we have plus shape, then we have to take reverse C shape. Okay, this is equals to, here we are written equals to. Then in this y and one more we will take x. These two are connected with once again reverse C shape. That is x plus y equals y plus x. This is a circuit diagram. Then how to write the truth table for this? See the concept, how many variables we have that we have to check. In this, totally we have two variables. Two variables means total we will get four combinations. One is x and one more is y. To calculate that, we have to take x plus y one combination and in another combination, y plus x we have to take. Now, two variables means 2, 0, 2, 1. Here, y we have alternative 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, take down plus operator. Plus operator means if any one of the input is true, output become true here. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 1. If any one of the input is true, output become true. Now, we will find out y plus x. This is, we have to take y column and then x column. 0 plus 0 is 0. Here next, 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. From this, we come to know that x plus y value equals to y plus x value. See here, 0, 0, 1, 1. Remaining all are 1. From this also I can prove by using truth table also we can prove x plus y equals y plus x. Now by using perfect induction also we can prove x plus y equals y plus x. Now how to prove that put x equals 1 and then another time put x equals 0. In another time we will put x equals 0 for this equation. Now how to prove this? On the place of x write down 1 plus y that is equals y plus 1. We already in the previous session we explained the law of addition. In law of addition 1 plus x is nothing but 1 only. Here also 1 plus y is nothing but 1. Here also a y plus 1 is also 1. Therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now on the place of x write down 0. Here that's why 0 plus y equals y plus 0. Now we have the equation 0 plus x is nothing but x. On this case 0 plus y is nothing but y. 0 y plus 0 is nothing but y. Therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value. This is your first commutative law. If I exchange, interchange x plus y equals y plus x, then also we will get the same result. On the perfect induction method, on the place of x, we are written 1. 1 plus y, we are written. On the place of x, we are written 1 and then y as it is. By using law of addition, in law of addition, it states that 1 plus x is nothing but 1 only. That's why 1 plus y is nothing but 1, y plus 1 is nothing but 1. This is your first law of commutative law. And next we will explain the second one that is x into y equals y into x. Then how to write the symbol as well as truth table and how to solve that by using perfect induction method that we will explain now. On this the first commutative law states that x plus y equals 
y plus x whereas the second commodity law states that x into y is nothing but y into x. Now first variable x second variable y here we are dot operator that's why d shape we have to write then output it is equals to y plus x here we'll take y and one more is x once again d shape that is nothing but x into y equals y into x this is the symbol to represent this now how to write the truth table first x and then y how many combination will get only two variables that's why four combinations we will get the one is x into y and one more is y into x now two zeros two one zero one zero one now in dot operator in multiplication if all the inputs are one then only the output become one otherwise it is zero that's why zero into zero 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 into one one input is zero that's why output become once again zero one into zero zero one into one one next we'll take y into x we'll take first y column and then x column zero into zero zero one into zero 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 into one zero one into one one from this i can say that y into x value equals to y into x x into y equals y into x now we will solve this by using perfect induction method in perfect induction method we will put x equals 1 one time and then we will put x equals 0 another time this is the given equation now put x equals 0 one time then put x equals 1 another time now for the given equation the place of x write down 0 0 into y equals y into 0 now see the law of multiplication in law of multiplication 0 into any variable is nothing but 0 only that's why 0 into y is nothing but 0 equals 0 therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value now on the place of x write down 1 that is 1 into y equals y into 1 see the law of multiplication 1 into x is nothing but x only this is law of multiplication on that time 1 into y is nothing but y here also y therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value this is your law of commutative in this law of commutative there are two properties are there one is x plus y equals y plus x the second law states that x into y equals y into x two properties on this you will study next we will continue with the next one Okay, next we will continue with the associative law. Associative law state that x plus y plus z equals x plus y plus z. The second law states that x into y into z equals x into y into z. These are the two associative law that is x plus y plus z see here here y plus z is in between bracket here we are written whereas here x plus y are written inside the bracket that means if i interchange if all the operators are same on that time i can interchange the bracket here x plus y plus z but here i just replace this bracket here x plus y plus z in the second associative law states that x into y into z equals x into y into z these are the two associative law now we will prove that once again first i am going to prove the first one in the first one how to write the circuit diagram first here we have x then y and one more we have z but here y plus z are written in the plus operator plus operator means here we write reverse c shape reverse c shape these two are once again connected with plus operator 
then here once again we have to take the symbol reverse C only. This is the circuit diagram for the first part that is equals to x, y, z. x plus y are connected here reverse C shape. Then next z is written in between this then z here also it is connected with plus operator once again reverse C shape that is nothing but x plus y plus z equals x plus y plus z this is the circuit diagram to represent this associative law. Now how to write the truth table for this just see how many variables here we have totally three variables x y z then how many combinations we will get totally eight combination x y and then z. 8 combination different 8 combinations we will get one is x one more is y and then z then four zeros one two three four zeros then alternative four ones one two three four two zeros two one two zeros two one zero one zero one zero one zero one now first what you have to find out for the first part y plus z we will take y plus z in the plus operator if any one of the input is true output become true only y plus z will take y column and then z column 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 if all the inputs are false then only output become false otherwise it is true this is y plus z and next we required x plus y x plus y x plus y we are take whereas in the previous case y plus z we are selected now x plus y in these two column we will check 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 if any one of the input is true output become true here that's why 0 plus 1 1 year 0 plus 1 1 year 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 1 now we'll take x plus y plus z x plus y plus z this part we'll take that means we'll consider the x column as well as y plus z column these two columns we'll consider 0 that is x plus y plus z these two columns we have to consider now 0 plus 0 output become 0 next 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 output become 1 next 0 plus 1 the output become 1 next 0 plus 1 output become 1 next 1 plus 0 output become 1 next 1 plus 1 1 next 1 plus 1 1 next 1 plus 1 1 next we will find out x plus y plus z x plus y column will consider next as well as z column will consider here 0 plus 0 output become 0 next 0 plus 1 1 see the concept x plus y column you have to consider x plus y column as well as z column 0 plus 0 0 next 0 1 plus 0 1 next 0 plus 1 1 next 1 1 1 1 1 it means that 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 from this I can say that x plus y plus z column value equals to x plus y plus z column this is the true table now how to write the how to prove this by perfect induction method the equation is x plus y plus z equals x plus y plus z this is the given equation now put x equals 1 one time another time put x equals 0 now in the place of x write on 1 plus y plus z equals 1 plus y plus z here 1 plus any variable see the concept 1 plus any variable is nothing but 1 only I can take 
otherwise you, if you want you can distribute that is y plus z here we will get 1 plus x 1 plus 1 plus x is nothing but 1 here also if you want you can write like this way otherwise you can write directly 1 also if you want directly you can write 1 plus y is nothing but 1 plus z 1 equals 1 therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value now put x equals 0 0 plus y plus z equals 0 plus y plus z 0 plus any variable is nothing but y x only that's why y plus z here we'll get this is 0 plus any variable y plus z here also 0 plus y is nothing but y plus z therefore right hand side value equals left hand side value this is your first associative law now i will prove the next associative law the second associative law states that x into y into z equals x y into z this is your second associative law now we will prove that once again by using circuit diagram as well as by using truth table and then by using perfect induction method now say this one x into y z now while writing circuit diagram first i will take x y and one more is z x y and then z but y z in between we have dot operator then d shape will take these two are connected if you don't have any variable consider it as a dot operator then connect it once again with d shape only that is equals to once again take down x y z x y z x and y are connected with dot operator then d shape we will write these are once again connected with d shape dot operator that's why here once again i will take d shape therefore x into y into z equals x y into z now we will prove that once again by using truth table as well as by using perfect induction method x y and then z y z then x in x into y next we will take x into y into z the next one is x y then into z now 4 times 0 1 2 3 4 4 times 1 1 2 3 4 2 times 0, 2 times 1. 2 times 0, 2 times 1. 2 times 0, 2 times 1 now. Now, alternative 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, take down y into z. y into z. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. In dot operator, if all the inputs are 1, then only output become 1. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. See, only in these two cases, the output become 1 here. Now, take down x into y. x and y are to take. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 1. Output become once again 0 because all the inputs are 1. Then only the output become 1. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1. See, in only on this case, all the inputs are 1. That's why the output become 1. Now, take down x column as well as y, z column. You have to consider x column as well as y, z. These two columns you have to consider. On this column, 0 into 0, 0. 0 into 0, 0. Next, 0 into 0, 0. Next, 0 into 1, 0. Next, 1 into 0. 0 next 1 into 0 0 next take down 1 into 0 0 next 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 now is it clear 
total here also for 8 combination. Next, x into y, you have to take x into y column as well as z column. 0 into 0, 0. Next, 0, 1 into 0, 0. Next, 0 into 0, 0. Next, 0, 1 into 0, 0. Next, 0 into 0, 0. Next, 1 into 0, 0. Next, 0 into 0, 0. Whereas in the last one, 1 into 1, 1. From this, I can say that x into y z equals to x y into z values. And we will prove that by using perfect induction method. On this perfect induction method, the equation is x into y z equals x y z. Now, put x equals 1 one time, then put x equals 0 another time. Now, on the place of x, we will substitute 1. 1 into y z equals 1 into y and then z. See the equation 1 into x is nothing but x. From this, I can say that it is y z. Now, 1 into y is nothing but y and then z. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. Now, put x equals 0. 0 into y z equals 0 into y z. Now, 0 into any variable is nothing but 0. 0 here. 0 into any variable is 0. Now, here also 0 into any variable is 0 and then here z. Now, that is 0 into any variable once again 0. Therefore, right hand side value equals left hand side value. These are the two associative laws. The remaining laws I am going to explain in the next class. Thank you for all of you.